you know my wife and i have this back and forth a lot she has this nephew that spends some times times with us especially on the weekends and you know there'll be days where you know he has his ipad and he's on his ipad from he wakes up to before he goes to sleep and i look at him and i'd be like yo you just let him be on his ipad like the entire day and you know her reasoning is go ahead babe my reasoning is that <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. What's your reason? My reason is I don't have any kids. <laughs> but the reason is everything is in the iPad for them. They have Google Hangouts with their friends, so they're playing games together, they're reading books together, they are doing everything on these iPads with their friends. So back in the day, we did the same thing, but we just did it in a different way. So when they were outside playing, they are now on their iPads playing. Their TV is now on their iPad instead of on the TV. So it's their iPod is everything to them. It, it's just like how you read your audio books on your phone. You know, you've made it your alarm, your games. It's the same thing for them. So I try not to be too hard. LeBron, you want to say something? But they get like the laptop experience without motor skills for laptops. Exactly. I agree. And I mean, to be honest, in my opinion, they are so much more advanced because of it. I think when we were growing up, like for me. Our, <laughs> our parents used to tell us, yo, that's enough screen time. And I think that's all it's about, right? Like, I don't have anything against the iPad and being on the iPad. But bro, take three hours off and go do something else. Like, go do something constructive. <laughs> like, do something that doesn't have you, like, staring at your device for hours on hours. Regardless if you're switching through, like, things that you're doing but find something else to do so like what we started to do with him was we started to play games like we we play uno uh we talked to him like we have like <clears throat> real conversations with him like ask questions and get him to answer these questions it's all to like break him out of the cycle of like always wanting to be glued to his ipad right now my wife and i don't have any kids as yet right and a lot of my friends who have kids like the one thing that they say is like bro you saying you don't want your kids on these ipod but all right you, you just wait you wait till you start having kids you can't wait to shove an ipod in their face because you know kids aren't in, in inquisitive Talk a lot. always like talk you know what i mean so to kind of shut the kids up they would just like yeah take this and go sit down somewhere and just go just go look at the screen and I'm, I'm not saying that i'm not going to do that but i'm really going to be focused about the amount of screen time my kids get right so it's definitely going to be on a time limit so i think setting time limits uh for ourselves you know for our kids for our, for our friends but definitely for ourselves and our kids um, and just find other things, other productive things that we can do. We will circle back to this conversation in a few years <laughs> when the child wants to go outside and play softball or soccer and the sun we, is too hot and no, you don't want to go. No, I'm there. I'm there. I, we I will can't, come back and have this conversation again. I can't talk about it. I got to be about it, right? So I could be right out there with my kids outside, throwing the ball around and doing whatever we need to do that allows us to limit the amount of screen time that they're getting. <laughs>